Packers. Ah. Cody is here with your two minutes of mayhem this morning. All right, thank All right. you very much, Marianne. An international team of scientists have dated human fossils near Marrakesh, Morocco, to be 300,000 years old. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was just Larry King visiting. Ah. Oh, dang. Wow. That's 100,000 years earlier than the previous specimens of Homo sapiens discovered in East Africa. Scientists say that this is a significant finding, not just because of the age, but because of the location. It's believed that the uh, East Africa is where the modern humans evolved, but finding the specimens in Northwest Africa challenges that idea. This discovery widens the cradle of life from East Africa to the whole continent, and then suggests that these evolutionary changes were happening across the continent at the same time. It's kind of big news. Yeah. Kind of feel bad we put that in two minutes of mayhem. Quite honestly, yeah. <laughs> that's that's actually good science. Uh, perhaps he was looking for the hare. A tortoise from New Mexico breaks out of his owner's backyard and takes a little stroll. But this isn't the first time this animals hit the road. It's his third, people. Dude. He's cereal, <laughs> and it took a neighborhood to get this guy home safe. His name is Speed Bump. Aww. I think oh, I don't know why he keeps running away. Aww. He's a 15-year-old African tortoise, and he's quite the escape artist. His owner says he's a bulldozer. He has to place 100-pound blocks of wood in front of his gate to keep him in the backyard. Dang. But Speed Bump dozed his way through, picked up speed, <laughs> imagine, if you will, making it a half a mile away <laughs> where neighbors found him three days later. Oh, oh gosh. Wow, that's pretty good uh, time right there. Uh, luckily, the neighbor who found him has the same kind of tortoise and knew how to take care of him. His owner says he'll only get uh, his way now if somebody uh, teaches him how to learn how to fly because he's going to seal him in. I guess. Yeah. But if you name your turtle Speed Bump, he's probably going to try to run away as fast as he can. <laughs> All right, this is cool. An Ohio artist and basketball fan revealed a strange creation. Meet Lint Braun James. Okay, let's hear Oh! oh. You! Oh. No. It's, a, it's not belly button lint, so you're okay. Oh, uh, it's an eight pound care. bust of LeBron, the NBA star LeBron James, made out of lint. Sandy <laughs> Buffy, yeah, that Sandy Buffy, uh, oh, said Sandy. she actually used 30 gallons of lint, three gallons of glue, and various recycled materials to create the sculpture. <laughs> the lint was gathered through donations from 30 people, and it took her five weeks to make. She encourages people to stop by and rub his head for good luck. <laughs> Ahead of today's game four. Good luck with that. She made a similar sculpture last year when she said she helped LeBron's Cavaliers win the basketball championship. Mm. The Warriors led the Cavs or lead the Cavs 3 0 in the yes. final. Yes, they do. Yeah, and tonight could be it. That'd be, yeah, that would be Unless some the, comeback. And the creepy lint head works. <laughs> I don't see that happening. I didn't even like emptying the lint from the dryer, much less putting glue in it and making this. <laughs> ah, 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 I hate that shot. I hate that oh, shot. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, that cat. I think it's got Stop some it. digestive problems. Stop! Oh. Stop! Ah. Oh. That concludes your two minutes of mayhem. <laughs> There's like 17 oh. monitors that had that shot in. I couldn't look at <laughs> it. No one, exactly. no one from you look to the left. You look to the right. I'm trying, no, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to block them all. <laughs> you know how hard it is to block every monitor in this studio? <laughs> Cranky. Still to come on.